A landmark study conducted by London researchers appears this week in the New England Journal of Medicine. Health reporter Jan Sims joins us now with more on the study and its topic. Jan. Dan, the report suggests that arthroscopic surgery, a common procedure to treat osteoarthritis of the knee, provides no additional relief. What I want you to do is bow forward at your hips until you feel just a bit of a tension in the back of your mm -hmm. head. Stephen Studenay suffers from chronic knee pain. And I think it's just old age. It's just arthritis. Osteoarthritis is the most common arthritis of the knee, affecting one in ten Canadians. And the numbers are growing at an epidemic rate because of things like obesity and the strain it puts on joints. Many turn to surgery for relief. Suffice to say, in North America, it is tens if not hundreds of thousands of cases a year. Dr. Bob Litchfield co-authored this study with Dr. Brian Fagan. What the study showed was, in fact, there was no benefit, additional benefit of arthroscopic surgery in this patient population. The study involved 178 men and women from the London area with arthritis of the knee. All participants received physiotherapy and pain relief medication like ibuprofen or acetaminophen. 86 received surgery. Arthroscopic surgery is a minimally invasive procedure that involves inserting an instrument into the joint to remove cartilage fragments and smooth joint surfaces. So it's just a balance board. I want you to kind of move yourself back and forth on the board. Stephen was among the group that received the surgery. At the end of two years, researchers compared the groups to see how they fared, looking at joint pain, stiffness, and knee function. What we found really that the, the operation didn't add anything to their quality of life and how they perceive their knee and function. We have now pretty clear data to guide our therapy, and this is a procedure that we really don't endorse to treat osteoarthritis at the present time. Stephen says he was surprised by the findings, and he vows to keep up with a regular exercise and therapy routine. Now that I found out that exercise does help, and that maybe is the only alternative. I'm, uh, I'm trying to spend more time uh, stretching the muscle, working with the muscles, and, and um, learning to live with it.